Hi everyone. For your online discussion three, you're um, asked to use a continuous line, um, a sustained gesture, uh, and scribble gesture. But I don't want you to only use that. You can actually still use mass and line in order to create this longer gesture drawing. And this gesture drawing should take you about 10 to 15 minutes. So really upping the time and giving you time to um, capture this entire form. I still want you to work quickly. I still want you to really um, not get lost in the details, but try to capture the uh, form and idea of these objects. Uh, instead. And I want you to uh, set up a more complicated still life, one with multiple objects and objects that have texture so that that scribble gesture can become um, a way for us to start to um, describe a, a different kind of texture. In this case, I have chosen a skull and my orchid. Um, that I used in the last example. And uh, I'm going to be showing you what I expect for you to be doing. And I want you to work in your um, journal again for this homework assignment. So how I want you to start is I want you to start with mass. So the first thing you want to do is uh, give yourself an idea and work really lightly, like barely, barely touching the page but giving yourself an idea of where the, these objects um, will fit and how they might fit on the page. And if um, something doesn't fit or doesn't fit, feel right, you can move it. So if the skull feels like it's too big, uh, in my case, I'm drawing a skull, I can move it a little bit to the left. If the orchid doesn't feel quite right, I can actually just start to scooch it a little bit over to the right and make sure that um, things are uh, in relationship in the way that I want them to be. So mass gesture can help us just lay out the objects on the page first. Uh, after you have an idea of where they're going to be, I want you to start uh, using a line uh, mass, line mass, scribble, and I want you to try to keep your charcoal in contact with your um, paper the entire time, which it's okay if we kind of let go. So that's going to be a continuous line. So try to work with a continuous line. And by working on this uh, piece and working um, on it again and again and again, we're going to actually create that sustained gesture. So um, let's get started. I'm going to start with uh, these little flowers for the, for the orchid um, with these little flowers that are, ha haven't bloomed yet. They're like little pods. And I'm using mostly mass uh, for those. Now I'm going to go in and start drawing the petals of the orchids and I'm mostly going to use line um, or even a little bit of scribble. Uh, to to create these flowers and again you have a little bit more time so try to really pay attention to the forms that you see uh, draw the um, slope and direction of each of these forms try not to um, try not to create a pattern I know you hear me say that all the time but it's so easy to just start placing circles uh, where you think something circular would be rather than really paying attention to what else is happening. As you draw, if something starts to fall off the edge of the page because um, you know of scale, don't try to squish it in there. So I actually have more orchids up there. It's okay, I'm gonna let them fall off the page. I'm gonna bring uh, down the, the stem. Uh, I'm going to think about that there's um, a stick that it's attached to right next to it. Um, I'm going to use mass and start to add in some of these, you know, like thick uh, green leaves. I'm going to use line to capture the edge of, of those leaves.
line and mass together in order to give um, form and then a little bit of clarity about where these um, items are when it comes to the plant, the picture plane, etc. The interior of that plant. I'm going to work with line to capture the um, base that it's sitting in. And then I'm going to work on my skull. And again, being really loose, I'm not going to get lost in the details of each one of those teeth. Instead, I'm just going to, you know, draw the general forms that I see. Where I see texture with those teeth, maybe that's where that scribble gesture is going to come in. Uh, giving me like a sense of jaggedness. Working on that eye socket. And again, you can see that I basically haven't really taken my um, hand off of the paper almost the entire time. So now I have a pretty good base, but I'm going to take a little piece of newsprint and I'm actually going to blend. So if I blend the skull, maybe some of the vase, and you don't want to use your fingers to do this. Um, it pushes oils from your fingers into, um, into the paper. So you actually want to blend with a tool. Um, in this case, a piece of paper uh, like newsprint really helps us to do that. And now I'm going to go back in and I'm going to um, add those details back in over this blended form. Again, I'm working gesturally, playing with all this. And this is a longer drawing. So you have a lot of time to like build up value and play. And I'm actually also going to show you how you can subtract value from, from this. So in your pack, you have kneaded erasers. So if you take out your kneaded eraser, we actually don't use kneaded erasers for erasing. We use them for blending and creating value. So a kneaded eraser feels like putty. It feels like something you're supposed to sculpt something out of. But instead, it's, um, it's an eraser. These erasers are actually big, so I'm actually going to use only half of it or a quarter of it. You want to pull them apart to warm them up. I know it sounds funny, but uh, when you first get them, they will feel cool. And the more you pull them apart, the more malleable they get. And now I'm going to use my eraser and again, gesturally, I'm going to um, subtract. Uh, really going through thinking about where maybe there's highlights on this skull, even using it to blend a little bit. some of the base too. It just feels like it got a little too dark for me. So I can um, soften an edge. I can blend. Yes, I can also erase, but that's really not how we use the, the kneaded eraser. I'm going to add those little uh, nose back in, the teeth, the edge there. And again, you're just going to uh, play with this, uh, but please set a timer so that you can be working on this for about 15 minutes. 
If you don't get to the point where you're blending and erasing, that's totally okay. We have lots more of that um, that's going to happen throughout the course of the semester. Um, so don't worry, you're not missing out on anything. You will get plenty of opportunities to blend and erase and blend and erase um, in, the, in the future. So just try to capture uh, this as best as you can. Um, remember that you can always add in shadows so that the objects feel like they're sitting on something. Um, I want to add some of these, some of that fun texture. It's on this too. So this is the kind of drawing that um, I am looking for for this homework. So I don't want a lot of detail. Again, I want a lot of a gestural approach to this kind of drawing. You can still blend and erase and have fun. After you're finished, uh, post your drawing as well as an image of your still life and remember to do your peer reviews. So this is your online journal three, online discussion three.